Well, local restaurants are doing special summer menus. You'll find them wherever you go. So we're taking a look at one of them today. It's a pasta summer dish at the popular seafood restaurant Drago's. And joining us, restaurant co-owner Tommy Stanovich to show us what he's doing with his summer menu and what maybe you'd like to try at home. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming as usual. Appreciate it. Perfect. We've got, I mean, we've got a couple, like one's an appetizer with the crab meat crostini where it's like on a little melba nice. toast with crab meat and avocado a little salt and pepper and a tomato that's really good uh one of my favorites again i've got to have pasta and you know pasta doesn't have to be heavy with the tomato you can sauce still do that in the summer. you can still do uh, pasta in the summertime okay. and, and you know the way we the, you know what we're going to do here we're going to do a very light dish so this is just a little bit of whipped butter okay that we're just going to put in just a very little bit of whipped butter. We're going to put some tomatoes. Okay. Some fresh grape tomatoes. Whipped butter, tomatoes. I'm going to take a little bit of asparagus. Asparagus. And put some asparagus in there that we've cut. I'm going to take some green onions. Just, and you, you can love put green broccoli. onions, don't you? Yeah, you can put broccoli. You can put now okay. what? Make, you, all, all kinds of vegetables. So what else can you do? I put a little bit of lemon. Which what kind does of, that do when you do a it, sweet it just, lemon? It just, you know what? It gives you that summertime tasting. It, uh -huh. just, feel, okay. it, it just kind of gives you that little bit lightness in it, and, okay. and it kind of wakes up the, uh, you know, the uh, food. So we're just going to kind of toss this around a little bit. I'm going to a little bit more just this butter sauce right here, and you know, you got it. You can put salmon on top of right. it when we finish it. You can put chicken on top of it. Right. You can eat it just the way it is and just make it a vegetarian dish. Or how about some Louisiana shrimp? Love and, and it. We just take the Louisiana shrimp. We just hit it with a little bit of our butter garlic sauce. You can mm -hmm. almost take any sauce that you like. A little salt and pepper on it. Right. And, and we just cook this up. Doesn't take long for shrimps to cook. Kind of got a little bit started here, so they're halfway cooked here. Oh, that here. smells so good. So you just have the, the Louisiana shrimp. Okay. And then now we're going to go with the pasta. Okay. We kind of pre-cook the pasta and right. uh, al dente, and we just dip it just a little bit in some boiling water to bring it back up to temperature. Nice. And, um, and so for drink. people like me who are always intimidated by cooking seafood, how do you know when the shrimp is cooked? Well, you want to undercook it first off. Okay. You want to cook it undercooked. You want to get it to about a hundred. If you have the, the thermometer. 130, 135, 40 degrees, right. and, and just look at it. You can see it if you, a shrimp, because it's not so big, you just sear it on one side for a minute uh -huh. to 30 seconds, flip it over, sear and it for a minute, done. and it's done. And it's done. And it's done. Oh, look at that. It's the a beautiful pasta. thing. So we just t literally toss the pasta. And you know what? You can just eat that pasta just like just, that. Just like it is, just by itself, and, and let, transfer it to the plate here. Oops. I mean, it's got that beautiful look to it. Yeah. I'll just move this for you. Yeah, I see that. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley on it. Yeah. And whether okay. we, I'm going to, so we can do it with a few little shrimp. Oh, wow, that looks so pretty. On the side. And, and then I got to tell you, although it's not indigenous to Louisiana, <laughs> I love salmon. Right. And this dish is perfect for salmon. It's kind of. So this is something well. that I think someone can easily whip up at home or. Check Easy. it out at well, your you local go, neighborhood you restaurants like any, yourself, right? You can go to any one of the local restaurants. Every local right? restaurant has a really Lovely. nice dish. If you choose me a fork, I'll oh, try oh, one of your absolutely. shrimp. Lovely. Lovely. Absolutely. So, and how long are these summer specials usually on for? Uh, we're, we're going through Labor Lovely. Day. We're going through Labor Day. Mm. And, uh... And it's just beautiful. You take Louisiana seafood, and you can go either way with this. You can, and look, we put salmon. You can do it with a piece of seared trout. Quite honestly, you can put fried fish on top of it. It's still good. I love that. And, and that garlic buttery taste. Yeah. And, mm. and then on top of this, you got that Louisiana lemon seafood. pasta. And, yeah. and with the asparagus, it just kind of wakes up and makes it feel like summertime. And it, it does. So pasta doesn't have to be heavy. It doesn't have and to it be cream be like and this. red sauce. Just light. and. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Tommy. You too.